So we need to score at least three away goals today. We're away in Germany against Dortmund. It's highly improbable, but not impossible. Roll the intro. Hello, welcome back to the NK Marable Save. I am Cultured Left Foot and it's a pleasure to have you with me. As we said in the intro, we need to score three away goals. Goal difference doesn't really matter. It all depends on who scored the most away goals against the other team if you're level on points or something. I did the rules last year, last year, last episode. We've just got to, yeah, see how we do. Jurgen Klopp has warned Dortmund about Alex Cardoff. There we go. Ilyich has warned us of, of Mensa whoever he is. World-class striker, Prince Mensa. Ah, yes. The guy that was injured last time we played them. So he'll be back, fit and ready to play. That looks like they're going to play the 4-4-2 formation. The game in between this and the other game, we beat Kursko 2-0. Mustafa and Michael Mitchell getting the goals. Good performance, really. A pretty, well, a very good performance. So this is the game that decides whether it's Europa League again or it's the latter stages of the Champions League. So I'll see you at kickoff. Away in Germany, we line up like this. Bacola is in goal. Ricardo, Hasby and Pavlin are the back three. Gleasing on the right. Lopez has to come in at attacking, uh, attacking midfield at anchorman because Takax is suspended and Eric Dyer isn't registered for the Champions League. Landers comes in at left back. Deutschmann and Mustafa make the midfield too. Hamsbergovic obviously is up front with Alex Cardos. They have Paz and Mensa up front, which is possibly one of the best strike forces I think I've ever seen in Football Manager. This is Carlos Paz. He's very good. And this is Prince Mensa. He is unbelievably good. That is just ridiculous how good their players are. They are playing a very attacking 4-4-2. Both the wing back or both fullbacks and wingers look appear to be on attack. It's gonna be these four just holding the fortress. Hopefully we can penetrate through them though and get some goals. On our bench, we have Big Mac, Tapia, Lovric, Itama, Luis Carlos, Cespedes, and Ahadji. The game gets underway, and it is a massive game in our season. I would obviously love to go through to the latter stage of the Champions League, but again, if we go to the Europa League, it's not a complete failure. We need to step up when we get there, though. Hopefully avoid the big teams, get through to the... I want to go a step further and get through to the semis if we can, but it all depends who we'll get in the next round. But... Hopefully, we'll score three goals in this game, and then that'll be a complete move point, and we'll get through to the Champions League knockouts instead of the Europa League. As Carlos is in behind, crosses it, looking for Hamsbergovic, but the cross was nowhere near him. Lopez picks it up into Deutschmann. Around the corner, Hamsbergovic is in, shoots great save from Ekstanik in goal, who I'm pretty sure is a different goalkeeper to the last time we played them as well. But Landers as the throw to Mustafa, to Carlos. We've started well. Deutschmann shoots. Shoots. He shoots, is what I was trying to say. It was blocked. Uh, sorry, it went for a goal kick, but we got a free kick, and Mustafa swung it in. Fossum just hoofs it away, and we have started this game very, very well. Hasby into Lopez to Mustafa. Mustafa over to Landers, but it's headed away by Bunga. Bunga gets it back, and he'll probably play a nice one too. No, he goes up the line to Prince Mensa. The, we've highlighted the danger of their attackers. We've got three centre-backs to try and deal with them, but he's picked Fossum out on the edge. Dennis, Dennis into Fossum. Bacola with a good, easy catch. And oh, it's a frantic start. It's eight minutes gone and it's a frantic start. As we click into 12 minutes and Mensa brings it forward. Out to Dennis on the left-hand side. There's a big overlap. Dennis comes in, deflected. Bacola saves. Holds on to it very, very well. And we really need to like just make sure of this. We, we need to get some goals. It's pretty even at the moment. We've had a clear-cut chance and not put it away. Hodzic fires a free kick into the wall. It comes back to him from Foss and Bunga. Tackled well by Landers. There is a ball up the line to Cardos, but he couldn't get it up there. <laughs> couldn't get it up. <laughs> That's very childish. But yeah, it's just frantic, this game. Rogue seems to be being controlled a bit more by Dortmund. Can we hit them on the counter-attack? Great ball through for Cardos from Hamsbegovic. Cardos is through. Extanzitz comes out very well and claims it at the feet of Cardos. And that's the sort of chances we need to be putting away. He normally shoots those quite early when the keeper's not expecting it. But Hamzvogovic holds it up well, finds Gleasing on the overlap. Gleasing, it's a poor cross. There wasn't really any bodies in there. 
as PSG beat Celtic, and Celtic are currently on zero points, which is absolutely abysmal in the Champions League. Amadi on the right-hand side, ball in, Paz is there, great block from Ricardo, and it's endless pressure both ways, really. It's not just from Dortmund, we are pressuring them as well. And we are restricting them chance-wise. They haven't had a clear-cut or a half-chance yet. But Carl, look at Cardos's rating. 6.4 he's on at the moment. That is awful for what is supposedly our best player. Prince Mensa out to Amadi for Dortmund. Landers with the ball. Paz is there. He got in front of whoever number 20 is, Ricardo. It's a great header, I think, from the edge of the box. It, we knew their strikers were going to be trouble. They're world-class, both of them. So when you play two world-class strikers together, you're always going to be in for a bit of trouble as a defender. But Amadi puts in a wonderful ball. Paz with a great header. Bacola was had his body weight going the wrong way. Couldn't do too much about it. 1-0 Dortmund. Looks like we resign ourselves to the Europa League once again. Annoying that Cardos isn't playing very well, actually. Uh, I'm going to leave it and just tell the guys, you know, we can still come out of this match with a win. Let's just go and get some pride. I wish there was one that you could just say, you know, do this for a bit of pride and scare some other teams in the Europa League. But I'm not too sure what the other groups look like. So hopefully it should go in order of seeding so that the big teams all go through and therefore we get teams like, you know, Basel, Dynamo Zagreb, Bruges, uh, Shakhtar. Basically, anyone that's losing today, I'd like to be in the Europa League and play them. Mustafa gets in, shoots, but it goes wide. It wasn't troubling the Dortmund goalkeeper. Uh, it's just gutting when things like this happen. Cardos is having an absolutely terrible game. He is not playing well at all. He's going to be replaced by um, Itama. And Jaka Pavlin is going to be replaced by Celsius. And we're going to go to our formation that everyone knows and loves. Because... We know and we love it. So we're going to go to that formation. It is more attacking. We need goals. We can't drop any lower than third. So we might as well just go a bit more attacking and try and get some away goals in this game. A 3-1 win will put us through, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Maybe it won't, actually. It will, I think it needs to be 4-1 now. But either way, let's just play for a bit of pride. We'll give them a little team talk. Let's just go passionately. Let's just demand some more. Come on, boys. Keep fighting out there. The time is going down very quickly. We are definitely on extended. We are. And uh, 10 minutes to go. Changes haven't really made a difference. We'll give. Let's give Mustafa a rest and bring on uh, Lovrich. He likes a goal. And Adlanders can come off for one tap here. No, he can't because I've used all my substitutions because I'm an idiot. That's probably why I didn't get the Slovenian national job. As Deutschmann's given away a foul, looks like he's going to pick up a yellow card. And no, just a talking to for Deutschmann against the, well, a country from his, uh, uh, sorry, a team from his country of birth. As Ricardo gets injured, so we're down to one centre back. And Gleasing's going to have to play in there, and Deutschmann, unless. Pff, wow, this is, uh, this is bad. Well, that's how we're going to play. It's going to leave us a bit open. There's only three minutes left. Hopefully, it's not a long term injury for Ricardo. What is it? Oh, it didn't look. Bunga shoots over the bar. What is Ricardo's injury? That's the question. As we're not going to get a chance. I think this is just going to be the end game highlight. And we are resigned to the Europa League as Prince Mensa comes forward. Fossum, it was a very hard group with PSG and Dortmund in it. It's always asking a lot for us to get out. I'm hoping it doesn't affect our coefficient too badly. All I do know is that our coefficient has been affected somewhat badly because where our league ranking got up into the top 10, as Landers gets in behind, crosses, it's a save by Extanitz. Where our coefficient got into the top 10, MK Domzali qualified for the Europa League group stage and have lost every single game. Olympia Ljubljana qualified for the Champions League knockouts and lost their games. And uh, the playoffs, sorry, and lost their games. And there's someone else qualified in the Europa League playoffs and lost their games as well so our coefficient has taken a bit of a hit i couldn't fault the boys it was a good effort into the europa league we go oh ricardo strain knee ligaments for five to seven weeks that's going to be a big loss i know it can be frustrating just just keep going 10 man marable lose post-match press conference i'll just let the assistant do that uh we failed to qualify but you know we had a very impressive 4-0 dismantling of celtic it's a shame. It is a shame. We will have to wait. I think it's two days. When's the... Uh... Well, I don't know when. Oh, we won't have the Europa League 
draw yet, will we? Because they need to finish their games. But I'll show you what I mean about MK Domzale. Here they are. If we look at their schedule. Oh, they won a game. They beat Legio Warsaw. Good on them. But before that, they've lost 3-0 to Napoli. Um, easier way to do this, isn't there? Why do I always do things the hard way? There we go. They've lost 3-0 to Napoli, 2-1 to Napoli, 3-1 to Spartak Moscow, and 1-0 to Legio Warsaw. They've got one game left against Spartak Moscow. And they have no hopes of qualifying, but they could get up to six points. So we need them to do well in this competition. So we'll just stay with this a little bit longer and we'll see when the draw is going to be done for the Europa League group stage and see if we can do this together whilst we're on camera. I suppose a clever thing to do would have been to see when their game actually is. See, they're not playing Spartak Moscow until the 13th, which is a week away. So we're not going to be able to do the Europa League draw on this episode and we'll have to see who we've got when we come back for the next live com. So the next live com will be somewhere around here after the winter break or during our winter break, actually, where we could have some more transfers to go through as well. Let's see if we hold on to the likes of Adam Landers and see what happens there. A pretty decent episode. Uh, a loss, a 1-0 loss to Dortmund. We are getting better. It's just there is still that big difference between us and then all the other like massive teams in Europe, like your PSGs and your Dortmunds. If you think where we were getting smashed by them earlier on in the series, we're now losing to teams like Man City 4-3. We're losing to Dortmund 1-0 and 3-2. Uh, and we're losing to PSG 3-1 and 1-0 and or 2-1. And it's it's getting it's a lot closer for us. We seem to be creating a team and it's very, very good. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll chat to you guys all very, very soon. Cheers.